in the sunny Motueka Valley, horticulture is a big land user and it relies on irrigation. Motueka is at the perfect latitude and has the right climate for hops and New Zealand's entire production is grown in the region. The crop is nearly ready for harvest. The owner of this hop garden is Julian Rain. The, it's a, this is the flower, this is the female part of the hop plant. Um, and if you break open these sort of petals, you'll see this um, yellow, yeah. um, yellow stuff. Um, that's the resin. Um, and it's the, the alpha acid, which creates the bittering in the, in the hop itself. So without that, there's not beer? There's, without that, there's no beer. So this is really important, isn't it? It's very important. Yeah. As well as having latitude and climate on the side, Julian Rain also has easy access to water. And we're sitting on a, a lake, basically, below us. Of course, it comes from the Motueka um, River but it permeates through the gravels and we extract from the gravels, uh, so not directly from the river. If uh, we didn't have the water for the use of our crops, growing our crops, um, we wouldn't be here. So it's vitally important. And do you have an influence, you think, on the river itself direct, indirectly? That... Um, I, w I can't really answer that. Uh, I would hope not, but in periods of extreme dry, we definitely do. Um, and at that point, uh, rationing starts, so we have to reduce our take. So what's your sort of feelings for the river? Because it, it's sort of vital, it's like a vein running through the whole place, really. The river is actually very important um, for the whole community, not just me. I'm part of the community, but there's, um, there's recreational people, there's iwi, um, there's the community for their drinking water, um, the forestry, the shellfish out in the bay, um, all really important um, and rely on the river. 110 kilometres from its source, the Motueka enters Tasman Bay, but its influence is far from over. In flood, sediment forms a plume out into the bay, and researchers have mapped its effect on coastal salinity. Many scientists have worked together on the Motueka project, including from Landcare Research, Niwa and Otago University. And out in Tasman Bay, Nelson's Cawthron Institute is monitoring the river's outflow. Data transmitted back to shore is giving marine biologist Paul Gillespie an understanding of the Motueka plume. There's a defined area that's affected by the, the river outwelling plume, and uh, now, particularly with the development of aqu aquaculture, there increased um, demand for high water quality. In coastal zones so we really need to know how these plumes behave how they move around and um, how they affect the the uh, the water quality in in relation to aquaculture how they affect uh, shellfish production phytoplankton production phytoplankton are microscopic algae that are the main food source for shellfish and um, the river plume can brings nutrients into the sea, so it affects the productivity of phytoplankton and in turn uh, the shellfish production. It also has negative.